Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another foundation review. I've been waiting for this foundation to release in Canada forever since I saw it on Instagram that Giorgio Armani is releasing their new foundation. I've been waiting for it, waiting, 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 waiting. And now finally I, well, I've had it like a week ago, but like now like in Canada we have it. So if you guys want to buy it, you guys can go ahead and buy it. And um, I'm kind of excited for it and this is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation and uh, this is this long wear high cover foundation this is I don't know why they covered it here but it's supposed to say it's SPF 25 but I don't know what's the reason so I took it off of the box at the top to see like what is underneath it I don't know why is it covered but what kind of issues or like I don't know so this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation and it's supposed to, you're not supposed to need concealer. So I'm going to try not applying concealer and kind of apply like pretty much full face with this foundation. I've already primed my face so that is done. As usual, I'm going to try half of my face with a brush and half of my face with a beauty blender. On the bottom of it, I'm just going to try my right side with the beauty blender. I'm focusing on my under eye which I don't have dark circles but I do have like a little bit pigment issue and right here so we'll see this is basically my second time applying it um the first time I was applying it I was doing the boxy charm review because I wanted to see the foundation so I'm going to take a couple more pumps and I'll use my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush I actually like it with the brush. I don't know why, but well, I'm not done yet, so I can't figure out. Why. So pretty much cleaned up my foundation plate. I don't know how it looks. Um, if you guys, uh, the boxy charm will be review will be up before this, so check that video out and check this one out. Tell me which one. Um, so in both, you can like you know focus on my face. So I don't know which one looks better to you. Okay, um, I don't think I need concealer. It does look like it. Um, I'm just gonna go and finish up my face and uh, I'll see you guys in like a few. So I finished up my face and uh, honestly, um, personally, second use, not a big fan of this foundation. I don't know why it makes my skin look so texturized and I don't like it. Especially when I was wearing makeup, but I think after I applied the setting spray, it is a bit more, it is better after I applied the setting spray. But it does cover, like, save time for concealer. You don't need concealer. I don't think I need concealer. Pretty much covered up my under eye. Um, but uh, if you don't apply setting spray, it, it looks like it's sitting on your face. You know how sometimes foundation is supposed to blend in and make it look like one skin? I would like I was really surprised um, at the NYX Total Cover Foundation because when I was editing the video, my skin looked flawless. This is a perfect foundation if you're going for a photo shoot or something. This looks makes your skin look amazing. Like even when I was editing my photo, I was like, I don't need much edit. It was that good of a foundation. So beside this, um, this one, this foundation was very disappointing to me because I heard uh, like great things about this foundation and when I used it I didn't like it as much. It doesn't do a good job. If your skin is being flaky the day you are going to apply this foundation, do not apply this foundation. Find something else because on dry skin this foundation is going to sit on your flakes. Your flake is going to come out. It probably worked for some people out there, but uh, for me, not a big fan. Face to face, it doesn't look that great. And it does have SPF 25, which kind of takes the joy out of taking picture because when foundations have SPF, um, pictures don't come like pictures don't look that good. You know, that flawless. I would give the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation six glam points i wanted to give it five but then i realized that it does like two and one so i would probably use it as a concealer over foundation because it does like i can't see anything under my eye which is great so this is good as a concealer i feel like it, the whole foundation is like a concealer like it's like a concealer in one bottle so 
I'll probably use it as a concealer over foundation. Pretty much it. That's my opinion about this Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Again, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. So please don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm posting tutorials on Instagram pretty much every week. Last week was a miss week for both Instagram and uh, YouTube, but this week um, both of them will be up. Um, that's pretty much it. Anyways, you guys, have a wonderful day or night whenever you are watching it. And I'll see you next time on my video. Bye-bye.